I'm honored to address this important summit on behalf of Her Excellency Samia Sulu Hassan, President of the United Republic of Tanzania. Since she assumed office, the President has placed great emphasis on ensuring a transformative education system in Tanzania. Mr. President, since education is a key component of the 2030 development agenda, we need to strive for mobilized ambitions, actions, and solutions to transform the sector. This summit could not have taken, could not have been more timely, particularly for Tanzania, as it comes soon after the issuance of a presidential directive last year to reform the education system, including of the education and training policy, legislation, and curricula. The reform process has reached out to all education stakeholders, and we believe that the process will have a trans transformative impact on our education system, adding to the many milestones we have achieved. Some of the milestones recorded so far include implementation of free basic education that has resulted in to increase primary school enrollment from 85% in 2016 to 100% in 2022. Attainment of gender parity ratio of one to one, increased investment in technical and vocational education and training, as well as higher education in order to improve skills, reduction of pupil-teacher ratio and shortage of teachers, integration of technology in education, and increasing financing for education where the sector received the biggest share to the tune of 18% of the total government budget per annum. In spite of these accomplishments, the education sector is still facing many challenges that need to be addressed as part of the reform. For that reason, Tanzania commits to ensuring inclusive access to education, irrespective of disability, poverty and gender, and to respond to emerging issues and innovations. We have already embarked on strengthening both formal and non-formal skills development opportunities by investing in community-initiated technical and vocational training centers and reviewing the skills set that is offered in order to prepare graduates to become job creators and not job seekers. Mr. President, cognizant of the role of teachers for quality education provision, Tanzania also commits to improving management of teachers' workforce for improved quality teaching and learning. In this connection, the government continues to build capacity of teachers and educational officers on the integration of technology in teaching and learning and the development of digital lessons or teaching platforms. Aware of the education financing gap, Tanzania commits to expand the education budget to meet the agreed standard of 20% from the current 18% of the national budget. Moreover, the government commits to mobilizing and effectively manage financial resources for the education sector to address all factors that affect education quality and access. Mr. President, a good and quality education goes a long way to reducing gaps in employment and incomes, as well as life expectancy. Thus, in the run-up to the 2030 and beyond, let us resolve and commit ourselves to increasing investments in the education sector with a view to ensuring that our, our children are not only guaranteed education, but are guaranteed good and quality education. I thank you. Ili kwa wakwanza kupata habari zetu tafadhali usisahau kusubscribe like na ku comment